because last time we discussed the basketball wise, we discussed how um, OG was making ac accusations that they were um, practicing colorism on the show, even though she is not the only, you know, dark skin or brown skin person on the show because we also have Kristen, we also have um, Malaysia, we also have Jen, and Jen really wasn't even on the show too much this season, so I don't even know if I really want to count her. So yeah, let me know whose side are y'all on. Are y'all still thinking that OG is correct? As far as, you know, them treating her differently because of her color? Or do you think that the ladies' um, only problem that they have with her is the fact that they think that she's overly aggressive? You said the colorism is out of line. I don't agree with it. OG keeps hinting at her skin color, but her features has nothing to do with her skin tone. And I actually don't think that it's the color either. I mean, I'm not saying OG is totally wrong. As far as the color, though, I don't think that they're um, treating her uh, differently because of her color. But I do believe that they think she is ugly. And that's just... I done heard them say some things. They done posted some things on their social media page. You know, some people think OG is a beautiful black um, person, uh, woman, female. And some people have said on and off the show that they think she is not attractive at all. So I, you know, I do believe just like Phoebe, she told her straight up, yeah, I said you ugly actually think OG now now okay let, let me let me um say this the right way because I do not think she's ugly I think that um when she first came on the show uh last season I think that she really needed some serious wardrobe help but I think that's mainly because she's a football player she's been playing football for some time now and you know what there's this Facebook group that I joined probably about a week ago. Actually, somebody added me to the group. And it's a group about colorism, which was crazy to me because I literally just joined this group like a week ago. And then I hear them on the TV show on Basketball Wise talking about uh, OG and colorism and Shawnee and Evelyn. I'm like, this is crazy. So in this Facebook group I'm in, they be talking about, there was a question um, today in the Facebook group. And it said, uh, do you teach your children about colorism? <clears throat> and I had to think, I'm like, do I teach my children about colorism? Because my children are, I done said it before, Y'all, most of y'all know, they're two boys, 22 and 18. And I was like, yeah, I taught my kids about colorism. I mean, not maybe necessarily in the way they were talking about it, but, um, um, as far as that post goes in the Facebook group, I was like, yeah, I guess I did kind of teach my sons about colorism. And in a way I did it because uh, when I was growing up, like I'm, I'm like, I, I'm, I was much lighter when I was younger. And, you know, as you age, when you're light, you sometimes get darker. So um, when I was growing up, I was light, but I have a brother who's like really light skinned. He was like really light skinned. And we used to call him, all bright, bright, light, and all kind of, you know, just playing around, you know, brother, sister, kitten. And so I had a younger brother. My youngest brother was really dark-skinned, and I was lighter than him. And then my older brother, who was still under me, just the oldest one, he was really light. And so sometimes they would get into arguments. And, you know, back then, it's like in the 90s, and they would get into arguments, and they would talk about each other's skin complexion. Back then, I I didn't think nothing of it. I was just like, y'all wrong. Quit talking about each other. Y'all brothers, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. But sometimes they would be kind of hard about that. And they would throw up, you know, my one would talk about the dark one. The other one talk about the yellow one. And, you know, <laughs> so when my sons were born, one of them is light. 
lighter. And one of them, my my youngest son, he's just, ooh, he's so chocolate. I call him chocolate drop. He's so chocolate and handsome. And he know he look good. The boy be walking around with these deep set ocean waves in his hair. Mama, look at my waves. Mama, check my waves out. Mama, all the girls, they are. I'm like, boy, if you don't set your chocolate butt down somewhere, but he know he look good. And I always made a point since he was a very, very little child, since he was a toddler, that he is the most handsome chocolate child I've ever seen in my life. And with my son, being that I sent, seen my brothers go through that when I was growing up, I always taught them, you lighter. He darker, but I don't give a doggone. I would treat both of y'all the same. I would punish both of y'all the same. And I would raise y'all both to treat each other the same, no matter what color. So I never allowed them to be disrespectful to the other one because he was dark and he was light. So I guess in a way, in a way, I did teach my children about colorism in a way, you know what I mean? But that's really important these days because black people come in all different skin tones. And the it's it's a, it's a thing out here with colorism. It's a thing out here. And I just heard who was who channel was I on? Wiley's. I don't know how many of y'all follow Wiley, but I have saw his live and Michelle AT Elliot had called in and uh Seven Stars had called in. Somebody else called in, but I can't remember. But I was mainly focused on Seven Stars and uh, Michelle Atlian's, you know, phone calls when they called into the Wiley Show, and they was talking about colorism and how you know it's really a serious thing. Like it used to be really big back in the you know sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, but it seemed like it's still a big deal now with light skinned girls or women treating darker women this different or thinking they better or the blacks. I mean, it's and then the hair. Like how many times do you see people dogging people out because they got natural hair? And then sometimes you hear people who are natural headed talking about people who got perms. Like <laughs> let people wear what they want. If you want to run around with your hair kinked up and, you know, barely combable, that's your prerogative. If you want to put the crack in your hair, you know, the silky crack in your hair, that's your prerogative. But yes, I think people should include that in everything else that you teach your kids while they growing up, colorism, because it's real out here. And black people, we already have enough issues among ourselves and our communities besides looking at people different and treating people different because one of us might be lighter or darker than the other. But, you know, that's just my little two cents on the colorism thing. 